Hello, my Ariel fam. Welcome to the last and the fourth of our over slip challenge. This challenge, I've been focusing on consistently resting, letting my body to heal. So let's find out together where our splits are today. Today, we're starting a warm up on our all four. Real nice and slow. We're gonna start with the right leg, simply extending it to the back, toes on the ground, and bringing it back. Now, second time, nice and long, extending the leg, and release. And now, third time, as long as you can, and release. Extend it one more time. This time, we're going to slowly lift it up. Toes to the ground again and gently lift. Keep it straight as you're lifting it. Last time. Try to keep the stomach tucked in in this position. And now extend the left leg. Slow and gentle. Nice and long. Here's my third time. Release. Extend again. Now I'm going to lift. And slowly bring it back down. I'm not really so much lifting as high as I can, but more just keeping it long and straight. Here's my last time lifting the leg up. And bringing it back. To keep going from here, I'm also reaching my left hand out. Bring the elbow to my knee, opposite one, and extend long. Second time. And third time. Oops. Really try to balance. Point nice and long. Now the other side. Elbow to the knee and point. Imagining your line nice and long. Don't forget to keep the stomach tucked in. And long, long line last time. Now stand on the toes. So we can lift up to down dog. Again, starting with the chest pressing down. Now think about lifting your hip as high as you can. At the same time, I'm pressing my heels down. Relaxing your down dog. Now kick up three times. One, two, three. And now circle three times. And switch legs. Kick up one, two, three, and circle three times again. That was 
the warm up today, and now we're ready for round two. I'm stepping my left leg into a pigeon pose. Thinking about my alignment. Trying to keep my hip balance. Now walk ourselves out, extending the body nice and long. Now, right hand reach as long, as high as you can until you grab your back leg. I'm adding a block between my butt and my heel, trying to squeeze my back leg to keep the block there. Okay, not really working on that side. Now I'm just trying to squeeze. Now I'm pressing the leg down. Take a big deep breath. Three, two, one. And let's go a little bit lower. Three, two, one. Slowly release. Now I'm turning to the other side and bringing my block with me. First in a pigeon pose, think about the alignment, hip position. Extending my body nice and long and leaning forward. Now, left hand get ready, reaching straight up, grab the back leg, place the block, try to keep the hip down, and squeeze to keep the block in place. Try to squeeze it, letting my hand go. I'm taking the block out so I can press my leg down. For three, two, one. And now a bit lower. Three, two, one. Gently release. Now I'm coming to sit in a straddle. Yeah. Yeah. 
We're gonna bring ourselves into a small ball again. Relax and release all the tension. Kick the air and reach your hands up. You're like pushing everything away, so you can be long and straight. Now back to a ball. No tension. Relax. And then push and straighten everything. We're doing very, very great. And now coming back to a ball again. And extend one last time. Really nice and tall. You can follow Wally to continue with the ball and extending if you don't have your split yet. I'm going to turn to a split. Back to the middle and turn to the other side. Middle and other side. I'm using my hand to also help me a little bit. And turning to the right. Here is the last time, turning to the left. And turning to the right. And come back up. I'm taking two blocks for the next exercise. Placing them next to my feet. Choose how you like your blocks depending on where you are today. Now I'm gonna lift my leg over the block three times. And the other leg. I'm gonna make it slightly easier and lift both legs at the same time. Last time. Already two rounds. For the last round, let's come up to be on our knees so that we can step one of the legs out to go to our lunch. So I've been thinking about forever. And I swear it's just Try to think about sitting the hip down. Might take us forever, but Remember to feel all of your muscles oh, are you under the thigh, falling, like around your glute. Well, I can hold you How your to me, foot is stepping on the ground and supporting everything. Together. I think I'm falling in love with you. 
sky is finished sad today and the rain begins to bring my chest to my knees and keep it close while I'm going leaning back to a half pipe my umbrella her joint complete but solving it's a simple feat loving quite so complicated that's just how they make it out don't you see my arms are waiting we could just be making out gotten good at dancing lately maybe I could show you how music's always been able to shake the die it's shaping out to be more towards the sunny side I'll stay flipping pancakes if you get the bacon fried second time nice so that we never have to say goodbye I'll hold you close forever baby love is just an ancient high and I don't know what you've been through but it ain't so cold and it's just me and you and the hand you hold I keep the warmest truth I never been too bold but can I be with you so I've been thinking about forever and I swear it's just you and me it might take us the ground but I don't mind cause it's meant to be Or are you scared of the thought of falling Like green drops in stormy weather Well I can hold you close to me through it all Yeah we can be alone together Last time placing my heel on the blocks and slowly going down to a split. Try not to force yourself down. Use your arms to support really only going down if everything feels okay especially my hip and my knees be really careful when you're working on oversplit switching to place my back leg on the blocks. For the next time, I'm going to place the block closer to my body because that would make it easier for me to keep my back leg straight so I can really work on the oversplit here. Alright, now the other side. Again, really focusing on strength, the movement of bringing the hip down, chest to knee, and I'm leaning back to half bike. Second. 
second time. I'm going to try to go down a bit more. And now last time. I'm coming up from my pike and putting my left heel on the blocks. This time Wally is continue doing half pike and lunges. <laughs> to support everything in a good form. <laughs> feel free to add more blocks or less depending on how you feel today. for the back leg. Just really taking my time to get into the position. All of the blocks and putting them under my splits. again I'm going to try harder to keep the back leg straight we're gonna stay here and take a few deep breaths Release. 
Now it's time for the other side. Feel your front leg pushing forward and your back leg pulling backward. Finding a balance in this pulling and pushing until you find your split. Three, two, one, release. Well done for completing this over split challenge. Regardless of your progress today, if you continue to follow this challenge to advance your over splits. I am very happy with my progress so far, but there's still lots to work on. Let me know where you're at in the comments. Come join us if you are working on spinning with the hammock. You will hear lots of spinning tips that I learned from this intensive and I will bring them back to sling for you. See you in the next live!